This is Firkin House, a local authority residential care home in Bury. Young people come and go, but for the time they spend here, for whatever reason, it is their home, and the members of staff who work here are, if you like, their family. Light On Productions chose to spend a week at Firkin House to see what goes on and just how the young clients, as they're called, behave. We didn't know what to expect, but we knew we were getting close to those on the edge of society. Ryan is being brought back to Firkin House. He's a former resident who moved into foster care. Yeah, Unfortunately, his placement broke well, down because it didn't there. meet his yeah, needs. No, just them more geeks. Don't know, just come in. I told you, just move. Ryan has constantly been placed in foster care. This is his third time back at Firkin House. Ryan wasn't happy with our presence. So does anyone know then that the camera crew is going to be here for at least the next couple of weeks, yeah? No. Yeah? <laughs> I told Michael to tell you, I should have told you, it's all been organised. No one told us anything. Oh, stop moaning, we're going to be famous. Exactly. We're supposed to get told what's going on in here. This is a joke. Go to, go to Ryan if you... I've told if everyone, you've got it, doesn't any matter, issues. it doesn't matter, I've told everyone, everyone knows, if, if you choose to um, not take it in, that's not my fault, is it? Alright, has anyone got any other issues to discuss? Yeah, um, can I have garden peas instead of cabbage and, and Yorkshire pudding on Sundays just like home, please? Um, please. Yeah. I want a chippy. I want a chippy on a Friday. Can I have a burger then? A vindaloo. Why don't we get loads of pizza and garlic bread, eh? I'm not you listening to any of this. I'll leave him, I'll sort him out later. <laughs> Don't worry about that. They want all the time, they think we made them on it. Um, sorry to interrupt, but Brian's just come back. Oh. So Brian asked me to bring him down to the meeting. Thanks, Claire. Welcome back, Ryan. Nice to be back. back. Not interrupting anything now, man. No. Right, hey, so, Ryan. so we had the idea then of having a, a curry night. To save James was very disappointed that his mother yeah. hadn't turned up for contact Maybe again. Let's have chippy. Chippy. Yeah. Yeah. Chippy. Uh, with mushy peas. Yeah. Mushy peas. The weekly visit from relatives can be a lifeline to an otherwise miserable existence for the clients. It's a window to the outside world. No wonder James was upset. What do you want? Someone is by. Mummy not turned up again. She's gonna be here. She's just stuck in traffic. Yeah, she always says gonna turn up, but she never does, does she? She will do. She promised me. She promised you. How many times before she promised you? Her promises mean nothing to you. She's your mum's better as reliable as Robin Reliant. <laughs> Where's your mama gone? Where's your mama gone? She's gone to the pub. She's gone to. Look, the Ryan, pub. why are you doing this to me? Can't you see I just want to be left alone? Go on then, where is she, yeah? She's where stuck she? in traffic. Yeah, the only cue she's stuck in is one at the bar for happy ever. I'm sick of this place. Times like this, I just... I just don't want to be here. I, I don't deserve this. I, I, sh I should be at home with my mum. I'm really sorry for what I've put my mum through. But I've learnt my lesson now. I just want to go home. I want to make my mum proud of me again. <sighs> anyway, I don't want to talk about that anymore. Check this out. I want to travel the world one day and all the major circuses. That's if I'm good enough. I know I've got a long way to go, but... It was frustrating to see a boy with such talents who will probably never have the chance to use them. It's 12am and there's a new arrival at Firkin House. I've got a bit of an emergency. We've got a you know, mission coming in now. Um, I think there's been a domestic. It's only a young girl. Come, Come on. on. I'm gone, I'm gone. Don't drag her. No, she, I want to go home. Don't drag well, her. I'm going home now. You right, sort yeah, them yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, fine. Come on, Hi. Hi. Hi, this is Holly. Holly. This is Holly. Um, Mum's in hospital and Dad's in custody. He's not my dad. 
No, I know he's not your dad. Okay, love. Thanks, Claire. You can go now. Thanks okay. very much. You no, you'll be all right here with Michael and everybody. Don't go. I'll have, I have to go, but I'll be back tomorrow to see you. You'll be fine. I'll look after Please, you. Please, just stay here. You'll be fine. I'll Don't see you tomorrow, go. Holly. You'll be okay. I'll see you tomorrow. It's gonna be okay, Holly. It's nice here. It's a good place. You'll be safe. If anyone gives you any trouble, right, come and see me, okay? I'll just, um, I'll just go and get your brew and I'll show you where you're going to be sleeping tonight, okay? Can I not just go to the hospital with my mum? You can't, love. Because your age, you've got to stay here. We'll look after you until your mum's better. Please, I'll be safe there. You're going to be safe here, love, don't worry. It's going to be fine. I'll just go and get you a cup of tea, right? Just give us a minute. It's the following morning and Holly is in the office with Brian, the manager. He runs a place and he'll just explain a few things about the rules and make you feel welcome and things like that. I'd come with you but it's nearly the end of my shift now so I think I'm on tomorrow so I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright, good luck love. See ya. So you're Holly then? Yeah. You came last night? Yeah. This is a happy home. Everyone's happy here. Do you know who I am? No. I'm Brian, the manager of Firkin House. Do you know why you're here? My stepdad beat my mum up last night and she was taken to hospital. And now I'm here, but no one saw me anything. Will you tell me something? I can ring your social worker. Would you like a cup of tea? No. Would you like to watch some TV? Okay. Right. Excuse me, please. If you go through this door, down the stairs, and turn right, you'll see the TV room. Bye! <sighs> These kids. What they go through. Oh well. Brian's been manager at Firkin House for five years. Surprisingly, it's not a job he, or anyone else, would take on lightly. We witness a moving scene between Holly and James in the television room. The clients are clearly emotionally frustrated. You're the new girl, aren't you? What's your name? My name's James. My name's Holly. So what do you think of this place? It's OK. You'll get used to it. I hated it at first, but it gets easier. So why are you here, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I was brought here late last night. My mum and stepdad was fighting, so I ended up here. So it should just be temporary. That's what they told me nine months ago. Most of the kids are all right, though. Apart from one called Ryan. He got me into a bit of trouble when I first came here. Ryan? Anyway, it was nice meeting you. I better go now. Can't tell you talking about me. Better watch yourself tonight, you. Oh, Holly, there you are. Let me come and show you to your room now. Bye now. Oh my God, did you see that man? I can't believe he did that. Me neither. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Are you all right? Who's that? It's Ryan, my friend. Ryan? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Don't be tired. <laughs> well, he just wants attention. No, he doesn't. Shut up and everyone pay attention to me. Look at me. Jess, 
Oh, I'm rocking now. I'm a psycho. I'm so ill. Get lost and go and get your attention somewhere else, you freaking idiot. Go and screw yourself. <laughs> Why do you have to be so nasty? Oh, I'm a nasty girl, me. He's ill, you know. Of course he is. All right. Well, let's get back to me. 26. No. Are you out to me, just go? You know I don't smoke. Yeah, you do. I saw you having a sly one the other day. Don't speak to me. Ooh, are you not my friend? No. Be my friend. Please. <laughs> <laughs> you know you love me. As tempers run high in Firkin House, the staff were quick to react to Ryan as he flips out for no obvious reason. Come to me, something on the floor. In here. No, you can't come in, mate. It's all right, it's all under control, it's fine. Just need some, uh, some personal space. All right. That's right, a 28-day notice. Bye. Ryan. Why? Why? He looks so much like Tristan. If only Tristan would have trusted us, would have talked to us. Why couldn't he tell us he was being bullied at school? There was no need for him to hang himself. What a waste. It's a waste. Oh well. I'll see my therapist tomorrow. Another new arrival at Firkin House, the second since we arrived. Hi. This time it turns Hi. out to be a familiar Hi. face. Not for long. Hiya. 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 This is Zoe, as you know, Zoe Williams. Mm. I phoned up about Zoe. Um, her and her brother have been picked up in Bolton. Her brother's still in the police station, and I have to let you know that they both had a, a big quantity of class C drugs. Oh, it was just a bit of drug. Well, thanks, Claire. Thanks All right, so I'll see you much. soon. Yeah, Zoe. see you, okay, Claire. Bye. Thanks, bye. Claire. See you next time you get me, Claire. Sorry. Come on, you best come upstairs. Oh, hello. Were you waiting for me? I told you I was going to be famous one day. Sorry, never mind them. You're in trouble. See what they're like in here? Nobody gives a shit about you. Zoe, we're all really worried about you. Brian's really concerned. Are you married or are you gay? Zoe, come on upstairs. Straight up to Brian's office, come on. The only thing Brian's concerned about is the peroxide. Zoe needs to be rude, Zoe. Come on. Brian doesn't get very far with Zoe's absconding issues. No one worries in here though about anyone. I think you'll find the difference when you don't see Brian now. I bet he doesn't. I bet he's still in the same life he used to be. Brian, we got a surprise visitor. Oh, today. hiya, Brian. Nice to see you, Brian. Do us a favour and grab up follows. <sighs> That's a day cup that you just chucked on the floor. We've not seen you for three months. <sighs> and? Well, don't you like it here? Of course not. Nobody likes it here. But this is a happy home. Brian, if this is a happy home, why did that lad kill himself? I don't want to end up like nuts like you. Hey, am I getting paid for this? Have you heard this man is nuts? Sit down, Zoe. Look, we are all concerned about you. <laughs> <laughs> concerned about us, I think. You're concerned about us, the wad of cash you get in the pocket at the end of the month. <laughs> Zoe, sit down. Okay, keep your wig on. You don't want to go grey already. That peroxide's already sinking in nice. 
You better change your behaviour round, young lady. <laughs> your placement is in jeopardy here. In jeopardy? Why will you kick me out then? That's what I want. Turn that camera off. Can you believe this tosser runs this place? Yeah, can you get me any drugs? Who are you? I'll just keep your voice down, someone will hear you. Who are you? I'm Joseph. Yeah, and? And can you get me any drugs? Tomorrow morning at breakfast. What time? In the morning, before school. You better not tell no one, Joseph. Okay. stood there, you idiot. What was all that about? What? Was just talking. I don't think I don't know what's going on. He was just asking where the toilets were. Yeah, I bet he was. But what was all the whispering about? I'm on to you, stupid cow. The staff and clients of Firkin House have breakfast together. It's a time to relax, chat hey, and look forward to the day ahead. Okay, At least, later. that's the idea. No, he's not here yet, mate. He's just gone to get the post. No, I need to see him. You're late. You're too late. You can't have anything to eat now. It's breakfast time. It's gone. We had toast and cereal. Everything oh, healthy, no. healthy. My, Michael, have I, have I got one? Did everybody like the breakfast? You sure? What my mum promised me. You haven't got one. I'll let you know if it comes Look, they loved it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Do. Is that my phone? I think so. I better answer it. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brian, are you going to school today? <laughs> Not unless you're going to drag me there. No, you're all right. Well, there's your answer then. I want toasty, toasty bread. I want toasty, toasty bread. Be quiet. You're not going to school. Come on, you've got to go to school. Michael, I'm going to let her come to promise you I'll forget to I tell you. No. I've got Zoe and Joseph here. And it's time to go to school. Come on, everybody. Let's go. You'll be famous soon. You wait there. As Zoe leaves, unaware she was being filmed, we see her meet a man and drugs are clearly changing hands. Shockingly, this man is her own brother. At Firkin House, a regular right, treat kids, is to um, sit down and watch a film, film in the blah, blah, evening, blah, blah. but it seems even oh, this right, can cause problems yeah, among the clients. Do you want a Yeah, all right. Holly, do you want a cheery? No, thanks. Yeah. Fine, I'm going to offer me one. No, don't even like you. It's all right, you dog, I don't want one anywhere. Hey. Well then, do you know what staff get paid today? You better look at me or you won't sleep well tonight. Just look at me like I'm saying something nice. Do you know when Nikki keeps her bag? I do, and she gets paid today. What are you on about? Ah, we're getting somewhere now, aren't we? What? I'm going home soon, I won't be here long. Yeah, but whilst you're here, you do as I say, all right. Nikki, uh, you, your mum's on the phone, Ellen. Thanks, Nikki. So that's done for anyway, it's shit. The film isn't proving all that popular, and Chloe chooses the moment to confide well, in know. Jessica. What's up? I just don't feel well, I don't know. What do you mean, what's up? I've got belly ache. I'm tired all the time. I feel sick. Well, have you told anyone? Have you been No, dogs? no. No need. Ah, you soft ass. I'll come with you if you like. No, it's all right. No, it's probably nothing anyway. Girls, will you be quiet? If you want to go and talk, go and talk somewhere else. Joe's trying to watch the film. <laughs> You're not preggers, are you? No, I can't be. 
I've never done it with anyone. You're preggers, aren't you? No! When was the last time you were on? About two months ago. Two months ago? Shh. Right! Don't talk to me like that, Jessica. I don't talk to you like that. Do it now. You need to go to the chemist and get a pregnancy test as soon as possible. Jessica, go to your room and talk, I've just said, if you want to talk. Come on, Chloe. We're going. Holly is worried about James, who's been very quiet recently. She decides to sit down and have a chat. Where are you are? I've been looking for you. My mum's just rang. She's feeling much better. James, are you all right? I'm fine, absolutely fine. Very pleased for you. You don't look fine. I warned you about him, didn't I? But you took no notice of me. What are you talking about? Your new best mate, Ryan. Ryan? Ryan. I saw you all cosy on the set here together watching the film. What sort of did you see? You and him all cosy whispering sweet nothing to each other. Are you mad? No, and I'm not daft either. Ryan was trying to get me to make money out of Nicky's bag. God knows what he'd have done if my mum hadn't rang. Did what? Threaten me. I won't be here for much longer. I'll be out of here. Look, don't do anything he says. I won't let him hurt you. It was encouraging to see that in the close-knit family that is Firkin House, there are many enemies, but there are also many close friendships which begin here. I think we should have found the police ages ago, you know, Demi. I'm reading my book. I'm not interested. It's Joseph I'm worried about. He's only been here not that long, and he's hardly said a word to anybody. It'd be good if Zoe doesn't come back. I'm going to go downstairs and check one more last time. Go on, then. Ugh. It's handover in five minutes. Two kids missing, and I want to go home. I'm not paid enough. Oh, you better see what she's doing. I'm reading my book. Leave me alone. Nikki was worried. Shit. She didn't Where know what to do. Tomorrow? She panicked. It's 12 o'clock, and still not back. I'm really worried about Joseph, though, because <sighs> he's not been here that long. He doesn't even speak. I'm not even back yet. One more last time I'll shout outside. And then if not, I'll have to get the police. Josie! Are you there? Josie! Oh shit! Josie! 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 At the breakfast table, gossip is rife. Zoe has absconded once again. Joseph's in a stable position in nearby Fairfield Hospital after taking a cocktail of drugs and alcohol. He's also a diabetic. He's expected back at Firkin House this afternoon. His social worker has been notified and it's been decided he'll see the resident psychiatrist when he gets back. You'd have to be off your face to be with her. Definitely. I'll batter her when she comes back. You'll have a job, she's not exactly a lightweight, is she? She's not a lightweight. Zoe. Don't be tight. That's not tight. That's it nice. is. <sighs> don't even want the school on me. What do you mean it's tight? Weren't you with them five lads that jumped Joe and broke his legs? Yeah, I heard that. Nick! Joe's gonna be fine, he'll be back tonight. You must be joking. I've heard he's half dead. He's not half dead at all. He's in a sta stable condition, <laughs> actually. <laughs> He's been dead before, he was in his condition. Not a problem, that is it, living in there. Don't be silly. It's just one for you today, Nicky. Oh, yeah, it's from the university. Oh, sweet. Have we got any? I haven't got any more, no. I checked the box as well. Come on, you lot, now. It's time for school. Yeah. Well, Mum, I'm going to stay here. off the school. Come on. Dead. You're being silly. Not yet. Go to school. Oh, I don't know. How mad is it, is it in here? Nikki, can I stay off school today? I feel really sick. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. You go back to bed. Um, I won't be in later, um, but I'll send Michael to talk to you because right. my shift's up. See you later. Bye. I feel really sorry for that girl. 
She'll be all right, though. And it is really hectic in here in the mornings. And Joe is going to be fine. He's not dead, honestly. I don't know. I'm off. The house is quiet. Everyone's out except Chloe. Michael sees a chance to talk to her about her problems. What? Have you taken your test yet? No. Michael? I thought you were getting it, May. I've not got any money to buy one. Well, I have got you one. Brian gave us it before. There's oh. three in there, just need to use one. You've got to do it now. We've got to find out. I'm scared. Don't be scared. We've got to find out. The amount of times I've had to do this with these girls. Should be a bloody woman doing this. I'm dead embarrassed, but it won't be anything anyway. It never usually is. Should be a woman. Right, yeah. Yeah. Wait a couple of minutes. I don't understand why you're so scared of the results. Oh, I was abandoned when I was a baby. I was dumped on a church doorstep. And where's your parents now? They're not here anymore. They died when they ran off in the car. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, love. But, um, that doesn't affect how you're going to be as a mum. Yeah, but that's what people say. How you've been brought up reflects on how you bring your child up. I don't want anything to do with a baby if that's what I'm going to make of it. I mean, that's true in some cases, but it doesn't always work like that. I think you'll be a fantastic mum. All the stuff you've been through, your experiences, I think you'd be great. Yeah, but I've got no money. I've got no parents, no relatives. I've got no one to turn to, and I'm not bringing a child up in this dump. You haven't got any family, but you've got us, and we're going to support you. We're going to get you into a mother and baby unit. It's going to be fine. A mother and baby unit? I want a place of my own, just for me and my child. You will have eventually, but at the moment, when you need support, that's the best place for you. How do you know? I've worked there. I know. It's the best thing for you, and I think you're going to be fantastic. Let's have a look now. Oh, my. Are you going to be a mum? Oh, um, I'm just going to update your file. Give me a minute. I knew something happened after that party. When I woke up, I could feel it. Someone must have spiked my drink. I don't even know who the father is. Whilst Michael did his best to put a brave face on Chloe's news, I felt sorry for the child. After all, what chance did it have? It seems living at Firkin House can be an emotional roller coaster. James and Holly turn to alcohol as they try to forget their troubles. I'm here, dear. I'm here now. Don't worry. Where's a bit that? The office down the road. They'll sell it to anyone. They don't even have to try, do you? Want to try some? Yeah, OK. Mind how you go. <laughs> That's disgusting. I know. This is a quiet taste. A quiet? Is that the right word? OK, it sounds good anyway, doesn't it? What are you talking about? How much of that have you had? Well, but we only had a bit. Why, why do you not like me when I'm like this? I still like you, you know. <laughs> Who cares? Just give me some more. But I don't want to lead you astray, though. Who cares? No, oh, go on, then. I'll, I'll look after you anyway. You're all right, with me. Maybe I can forget about things now. Yeah. You're getting the hang of it now, yeah? <laughs> it tastes nice now. Yeah. It's amazing, sit isn't it? Get drunk. Yeah, let's just sit here, yeah. Watch the world go by, yeah? Sounds good to me, that, yeah? Right on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I 
Joe has returned to Firkin House after his recent ordeal. He's called to see Sylvia Botham, the resident child psychiatrist, who doesn't seem to have much time on her hands. How are you feeling, Joseph? Fine, thanks. You do realise the seriousness of taking an overdose, don't you? Mm. It's not just the physical damage that you've done, but it's the psychological aftermath. What? You're feeling a little confused. That's normal. But what concerns me is, is how confused that you're going to feel in the future. Tell me, Joseph, did you have a happy childhood? Well, it's all there, my file in black and white. Oh, is that the time? On your way out, could you tell Ryan that he's next? Whatever. Thank you. I mean, you're next in there. <laughs> no chance. You heard must be properly done in fancy coming out of fire to get for small. Yeah, go on. It's no one round. I'm going to clear. They're not like me anyway. Oh, well, that's you and me both now, isn't yeah. it? Well, we're in the same boat, aren't we? So we may as well stick together. Yeah, too, right. The boys share a cigarette. It seems this is far more therapeutic than the chat with the psychiatrist. The next morning, Michael announces to the group that a rare trip out is on the cards. You haven't been on one all year. So, um, but you've got to display positive behaviour to come on it. What's what do you want us for? It means Busy. generally being good. Yeah, you're honest, what you're doing. Having a dick. Uh, 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 time of the bones. Time of the bones. Right, we've got this money and we've got to spend it. We are going to go on the trip. Does anyone have any um, suggestions or ideas of where you would like to go? They don't deserve to go on a trip, they're not even listening. We are. Why don't we go to uh, Blackpool Fun Fair? We went there last year and it's boring. It's too cold. It's too cold this time of year to go to the beach. Yeah, let's go ahead and drown them all. What about, what about uh, Arizona? Yeah, yeah, what about Arizona? Arizona? What about Arizona? Arizona in your head, mate. In the cabin. Yes, yeah, yeah, you can get some sand in your crack. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone have any sensible suggestions? Yeah, why don't we go to Alton Towers? Good. <laughs> Alton Towers, great. Oh, Fantastic. Yeah. Can we go now? Can I go? Bye, Alton. 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 Bye, you're welcome. Remember, positive behaviour. The prospect of a trip out had excited the group. For the first time, I began to see why someone would want to work in a place like this. The look on their faces said it all. I'm not scared. I don't like them. How fast did the rides go? A million miles an hour. James, will you come on the swan box for me? Ooh, James and Holly in a swan cave. K I S S I N G. Shut it, right? Yeah. Uh, yo, I can't wait to go on the Bliven. You're gonna come on it with me? No, I don't really like that, right? Ah, so you're the scaredy cat then. Fine, I'll go on it. I'll show you I'm not scared of anything. Yeah, well, don't wear your best boxer shorts, mate. <laughs> Who cares? It's probably be raining anyway. The group arrive back at Firkin House after their trip to Alton Towers. It's clear they've had the time of their lives. What's going on? You've got a cheek showing your face around here, girl. Let me tell you something, Jessie. I don't even want to be here. What's going on in here? The hell are you? You know where I am, so shut it. What, Queen Bitch? <laughs> and you, you bitch. You're the one who's so enjoy that shit. What's up, shy boy? I've got a boyfriend. An argument group. turns into a so fight, and as tempers fray among the clients, <laughs> patients wear thin amongst the staff. Right, that's enough. Come on. Chill. Right, I'm finished my right, shift right, in ten right. minutes. Brian's called a meeting with the other staff to decide what to do about Zoe, but it seems they just can't agree on her future. 
and her future at Firkin House. Now, just to show that this is a happy house, I've invited the camera crew in. We've got nothing to hide. Would somebody like to start the meeting off? Yeah, I'd like to begin with, um, well, I've known Zoe a few months now, and um, I'm sure she can improve. She, she can always improve. She's no hoper. No, I give her so many chances and she's no hoper. You don't know her, you don't even work with her. She's a bad apple. She's are, you, are you blind? Or you just don't see the bad in these little kids, the brats? No, I don't see that. I've worked with Zoe now for quite some time and I think my argument is going to be, I think, if we move her from here, I think it's going to be really bad if she gets moved to somewhere else. She's doing really well here, and I think there's a lot of kids here that would be a good influence on her. Good influence? Last time she had a fight with Ryan. Good influence? Be serious. But that's just kids, isn't it? They do that sometimes. There was also that incident which was a lot more serious yeah. with Joseph. Tell her. Um, <clears throat> when she was supplying Joseph with drugs. And we all know in this room what happened afterwards to Joseph. I know that, but I think if you give me some more time, I'd be able to do it. The, she, she does need a lot of help, I know that. But her brother's been more of a bad influence than anybody. Joseph nearly died. Is that not some kin? We could have yes, lost another kid. Has. We could have lost another kid. I know that. We're talking about Zoe here. What you from the department would think of that if we'll lose another kid in this house? Brian decides well, to pull rank and make a swift decision. Zoe's future one, is in his hands. Um, a frightening prospect. She'll be going in 28 days. Yes. I put her on a 28 day notice today. Basically. That's why you're doing all this. Basically, that means they're just going to let her go and say bye. So that means she buggers off in 28 days. Peace. Brian, we're just going around in circles here. Well, unfortunately, uh, the decision was made this morning in consultation with Zoe's social worker and through a constant non-compliance bad behaviour. It was decided that in 28 days time she will leave here and it is now in the hands of a social worker who is actually looking for another place for her. Um, I think that's all we have to say on the matter. I would like to thank you all for coming and for your input and Nikki would you like to now go and tell Zoe that she'll be leaving in 28 days please? No, I won't. I don't want to do that. Right, thank you. Don't know when I'll be back. Don't worry, don't As worry. As the staff argue about Zoe, she decides to take matters into her own hands. Hi, Bob. Hi, yo. Get off me, Ma. Where's the money? What money? Money for the drugs I gave you. I didn't know you was out yet. I got bail, where's my money? What money? Money, you better get in there and get me my drugs. But, all my money. But, okay. It didn't take long to realise that Zoe's brother was bad news. After a busy, fascinating and scary week at Firkin House, our last day had arrived. It was also time for Chloe to leave. She was being transferred to the mother and baby unit. <laughs> she gets out of there for getting pregnant, it's just not on. Maybe we should get pregnant, get out of there ourselves. Chance would be a fine thing. Shit. <laughs> I only did it. Stupid slag. <laughs> Where is everyone? Is this uh, all that's coming? It's going to be boring, isn't it? What's wrong with you, love? You're really quiet. It's my brother. I need to... I need to get away. He's always... He's always just getting me in trouble. I 
I think it would be best if I go somewhere I don't know where they are. Then I can just, like, I don't know, just start again. I think that's a great idea. I'll tell you what, shall we talk about it in a bit? We'll have a chat. All right, I'll speak to you in a bit about it. Okay. What's all the fuss about? Why have you put a party on for me? You leave it, Jim. You leave it. You've been here for ages. You've been here longer than any of that. I don't care. I didn't want to fuss. Come to the party. We want to make a fuss of you, though. We'll miss you. Silly. Don't think so. Oh, of course we will. You know we will. You know Jessica will. I will. Bill, I'll have a go at me. Bill, I wonder why they haven't got a party. Who cares what they think? It's got nothing to do with them. They'll be all right. Stop saying that. That's You know, they'll be all right. They'll have free food, free drink, and they'll be fine. They stuff the face. Don't worry about it. It's all for you. They're all the kids. They're all the kids. Ignore what you're saying. They're all the kids. They'll be all right. What's it like? What's it like? It's alright. It's, it's a lot better than here. You'll get on really well with the staff. I don't know so, anybody over there though. You'll get to know them. There's a lot of people and you're the same situation as you. All the girls there are all the same. You'll be fine. Don't worry. You get your own room. You get your own room, your own space. You've got staff there 24 7, so you'll be alright for anything you ever need. I'll, ask, I'll tell you what, I'll ask Brian if I can come along. I don't know whether Jessica will be allowed, but. But I can come and visit. Come and visit, yeah. I'm not even moving, you get your own stuff. Told you, at least not. When you're old enough. Everything's better than here, isn't it? Yeah, just stick an arm and get on with it. They'll love it. He's got grey hair, he's got a wig on, hasn't he? Do you think I'll be alright? You'll be fine. 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 Chloe! This is Sylvia. Hello, Chloe. Sylvia's going to be taking you to your new home. Would you like to get your coat? I'll see you outside. Come on, you'll be fine. See you later. I'll take care. Hi. I'll come see you. Thanks for all your help. See you later. Bye. Don't forget to ring me. I won't. Phone when she gets there. We will. Okay, bye. Bye, Chloe. Bye. 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 Take care of her. Let's get pregnant together, don't you? Oh, she will be alright, honestly. I hope so. She will be. The day ends like any other for the clients and staff at Firkin House with uncertainty. I started to wonder what would happen to each of them after we left. They were sad to see us go, and I was sad to leave them. But the time had come to say goodbye to Firkin House and those who call it home. Oh no, Zoe's here. Oh, another day in hell. Oh, so is that you who's done then? You've got everything that you need? See ya. Yeah. This place so much. Yeah.